Greetings, dear viewers, and welcome back to The Word of Life, the channel where we unravel the profound mysteries of God's Word and explore the intricacies of faith. Today we embark on a captivating journey, deep into the annals of biblical history, a journey that will challenge the very essence of our beliefs. Have you ever questioned the depth of your trust in God's promises? Have you ever pondered the intricate tapestry of faith? woven through the lives of ancient patriarchs and matriarchs and wondered how it mirrors our own struggles and victories in the modern world. Well, today's narrative might just provide the answers you see. We're delving into the lives of Abraham, Sarah, Hagar, and Keturah, characters whose stories are etched into the sacred pages of Scripture. Their lives were marked by extraordinary faith, unwavering obedience, and a profound trust in the Almighty. As we unravel the intricacies of their relationships and the divine promises that shape their destinies, we invite you to step into their sandals, to feel the weight of their decisions, and to experience the depth of their faith. Today's exploration is not just a historical account, it's a mirror reflecting the very essence of our own journeys of faith. So my friends, as we delve into this compelling narrative, be prepared to question, to reflect, and to marvel at the resilience of faith, even in the face of daunting challenges. Are we, like Abraham, willing to leave behind the familiar for the unknown, guided only by our trust in God? Can we find solace and wisdom in the choices made by Sarah Hagar and Keturah? Choices that echo the struggles of our own lives? These are questions that stir the soul, questions that challenge the foundations of our faith. And today, together, we will seek the answers. Buckle up your spiritual seatbelts. Dear viewers, for today's exploration is not just a passage through history. It's a journey of the heart, a journey that might just transform the way we perceive our relationship with God. So without further ado, let's venture into the sacred pages and unravel the profound lessons of trust, faith, and unwavering commitment that lie within the story of Abraham and his remarkable family. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 4 ESV. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. In these verses were introduced to Abram, a man like any other, residing in a land of familiarity. Imagine the weight of God's command echoing in his ears, urging him to leave behind the comforting embrace of his homeland, sever ties with his kindred and embark on an undefined journey. Abram, later known as Abraham, demonstrated an extraordinary obedience to God's call. His story becomes a beacon, illuminating the path of faith for generations to come. Genesis chapter 16, verse 1 to 5 ESV. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children. She had a female Egyptian servant whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said to Abram, Behold now, the Lord has prevented me from bearing children. Go into my servant. It may be that I shall obtain children by her. Here we find Sarah, Abraham's beloved wife, wrestling with the agonizing pain of barrenness. In her desperation, she offers her maidservant Hagar to her husband, hoping to fulfill God's promise through unconventional means, this momentary lapse in faith. This attempt to accelerate God's plan serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the impatience that often tempts us all. Genesis chapter 25, verse 1 to 2 ESV. Abraham took another wife, whose name was Keturah. She bore him Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. In the latter part of Abraham's life, after the passing of Sarah, we encounter Keturah, Often overlooked in the grand narrative, Keturah steps into Abraham's life as his second wife. Her arrival, her role in bearing Abraham's six sons, might seem peripheral, but in the grand design of God's plan, it's a testament to his continual blessings, even in the twilight years of Abraham's life. The complexities of Abraham's family life teach us valuable lessons about faith. His obedience exemplifies the kind of trust that transcends understanding. 
Sarah's momentary lapse of faith serves as a warning against impatience, urging us to wait upon the Lord. Keturah's arrival, bearing children when least expected, reflects God's unwavering faithfulness, even in our old age. Each character in this tale is a thread woven into the fabric of faith, a thread that becomes a part of our own tapestry of belief, reminding us that every twist and turn in our lives is under the sovereign hands of the Almighty. In the next segment, we will explore how this ancient tale mirrors our modern lives, drawing parallels between their challenges and ours, connecting the dots between their faith and ours, and discovering the timeless relevance of their story in our contemporary world. So join me as we delve even deeper into the significance of this biblical narrative, seeking the wisdom it holds for us today. Abraham, Sarah, Hagar, and Keturah's lives might seem like ancient tales, yet their experiences resonate profoundly with our modern existence. As we immerse ourselves in their narratives, we begin to recognize the universal themes of faith, trust, and human struggles echoing across the ages. In our fast-paced modern world, where uncertainties loom around every corner, we often find ourselves standing at crossroads, faced with decisions that challenge our faith. We, like Sarah, grapple with impatience, questioning the timing of God's promises. The story of Ishmael's birth, through Hagar mirrors our tendencies to grasp for immediate solutions, trying to manipulate circumstances according to our limited understanding. Additionally, the complexities of family dynamics portrayed in the lives of Abraham, Sarah, and Hagar parallel our own struggles. Jealousies, misunderstandings, and conflicts often disrupt the harmony of our relationships, mirroring the tensions faced by these biblical figures. We see our reflections in the doubts that plagued Sarah and the desperation that led to Hagar's flight. Their story becomes a mirror reflecting our own moments of weakness and uncertainty reminding us that the human condition has remained consistent throughout history. Furthermore, Keturah's role as the often overlooked, yet incredibly significant, second wife speaks volumes to our society's tendency to overlook the contributions of certain individuals. In a world that sometimes dismisses the efforts of those deemed peripheral, Keturah's inclusion in Abraham's story teaches us the value of recognizing every person's worth in the eyes of God. No one is insignificant in his grand design. Amidst these parallels, there lies a deeper message, a reminder that God's grace and faithfulness endure through generations, just as Abraham's faith was refined through trials and triumphs. Our faith, too, can be fortified when faced with life's challenges. The narratives of Abraham's family remind us that our struggles, doubts, and moments of impatience are not foreign to God. He understands our humanity, and in his unwavering love, he extends grace, patience, and understanding. As we navigate the complexities of our modern lives, the stories of Abraham, Sarah, Hagar, and Keturah urge us to reflect on our own faith journeys. How often have we rushed ahead of God's plan only to face unforeseen consequences? How frequently have we questioned His timing and wisdom, forgetting that His ways are higher than our ways? Their experiences serve as a beacon, guiding us back to the fundamental truth our reliance on God's wisdom. Trust in His timing and faith in His unfailing love. In the subsequent section, we will delve into three significant takeaways from these narratives, each offering a profound lesson on relying on God. These timeless truths, rooted in the experiences of Abraham's family, provide practical guidance for our lives today. Join me as we explore these essential principles, each one a stepping stone toward a deeper, more trusting relationship with our Creator. As we dissect the intricate layers of Abraham, Sarah's, Hagar's, and Keturah's stories, we uncover invaluable life lessons that echo through the ages. These lessons offer not just historical insights, but practical guidance for our lives today 
reminding us of the unwavering trust we must place in God. Let's explore three profound takeaways from these narratives, each one illuminating the path to a deeper, more meaningful relationship with our Creator. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 ESV For everything, there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. Abraham and Sarah's story teaches us the art of trusting God's timing. Sarah, in her impatience, attempted to hasten the fulfillment of God's promise through Hagar. Yet the divine plan unfolded in the fullness of time. This takeaway reminds us that God operates on His timetable, which may not align with our immediate desires. Just as seeds planted in spring yield harvest in due season, our prayers, dreams, and aspirations will bloom in God's perfect time. Our faith is tested and, and refined in the waiting, strengthening our trust in His sovereign plan. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 ESV, But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The narratives of Abraham and Sarah emphasize the virtue of patience. Waiting upon the Lord doesn't imply idleness. Rather, it signifies active trust. In our waiting, God molds our character, strengthens our resolve, and renews our faith. Just as eagles soar above storms, our patience in waiting upon God empowers us to rise above life's challenges. This patience transforms our weariness into endurance, guiding us to walk the path God has laid out for us without faltering. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6 ESV. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Abraham's journey exemplifies surrendering control to God. His willingness to leave his homeland, his dependence on God's guidance, and his acceptance of God's will demonstrate absolute surrender. Surrendering control is not a sign of weakness, but an expression of profound faith. Just as a ship trusts the captain to navigate the vast sea, surrendering control to God allows us to sail through life's uncertainties. Acknowledging his wisdom above our understanding, we find our paths straightened, our decisions guided, and our lives blessed beyond measure. These takeaways serve as anchors, grounding us in the unshakable foundation of faith. Trusting God's timing, embracing patience, and surrendering control are not mere philosophical ideals but practical guidelines that enable us to navigate the complexities of life with grace and fortitude. When we apply these lessons in our daily lives, we find our faith deepening, our perspective broadening, and our trust in God's goodness unwavering. In the subsequent section, we will conclude our exploration by reflecting on the importance of building a genuine relationship with God. These takeaways provide the building blocks, guiding us toward a more profound understanding of His Word, a closer communion with Him, and a life steeped in His divine guidance and love. Join me as we delve into the heart of a genuine relationship with our Creator, exploring the transformative power it holds for our lives. Dear friends, as we draw the curtains on this profound journey, through the lives of Abraham, Sarah, Hagar, and Keturah, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of history and our own faith journeys. The narratives of these ancient figures are not mere stories confined to the pages of the Bible. They are living testimonies guiding lights that illuminate the path toward a genuine relationship with God. In our exploration, we witnessed Abraham's unwavering obedience, Sarah's momentary lapse, and Hagar's desperation, all woven into a tapestry of faith that spans generations. Keturah, often overshadowed, emerged as a testament to God's continual blessings, even in the later years of Abraham's life. Their lives, marked by trust, patience, and surrender, echo the fundamental principles of building a genuine relationship with our Creator. The stories of Abraham's family remind us of the importance of embracing God's timing. We live in an era of instant gratification where patience is scarce and waiting is perceived as wasted time. Yet the narratives of Abraham and Sarah 
teach us that God's timing is always perfect. His promises like ripening fruit bear the sweetest taste when allowed to mature under the sun of his sovereignty. Patience, too, emerged as a recurring theme. The virtue of patiently waiting upon the Lord was portrayed vividly in the lives of Abraham and Sarah. Their story is a testament to the transformative power of patience, enabling us to endure life's trials with grace and fortitude. As we wait, our strength is renewed and our faith is deepened, allowing us to soar above challenges like eagles in flight. Moreover, the essence of surrendering control became evident. In a world that glorifies self-reliance, the narratives of Abraham's family challenge us to surrender our understanding, fears, and desires at the feet of God. Trusting his guidance above our limited perception, we embark on a journey where he straightens our paths, guiding us toward his purpose with unwavering love and wisdom. Embracing these takeaways, we are called to foster a genuine relationship with God. It's not about religious rituals or empty gestures, but about opening the depths of our hearts to the Almighty. Just as Abraham was called a friend of God, we too are invited into this profound intimacy. This relationship is not transactional, but transformational. It's about surrendering our will to His, trusting His plan even when it seems beyond our comprehension, and embracing His love that surpasses all understanding. In the tapestry of Abraham's family, we find threads of faith that bind us to our Creator. These threads, woven through centuries, remind us that our faith journeys are not solitary endeavors but part of a grand design crafted by the Master Weaver. As we trust His timing, wait upon His wisdom and surrender our control, we become active participants in His divine narrative co-authors of a story where faith transforms lives and shapes destinies. Dear friends, let us take these lessons to heart. Let us embark on a journey of genuine relationship with God, allowing His love to guide us, His wisdom to inspire us, and His grace to sustain us. In the warmth of His embrace, we find solace for our weariness, purpose for our existence, and hope for our tomorrows. As we conclude this exploration, I invite you to open your hearts, to dive deeper into the pages of Scripture, and to cultivate a relationship with God that transcends rituals and doctrines. Let His Word be a lamp unto your feet, illuminating your path with divine wisdom. Let His love be the compass that directs your steps, leading you toward a life of meaning and fulfillment. Thank you for joining me on this profound journey. I encourage you to share your insights and reflections in the chat box below. Your thoughts, your questions, and your experiences are valuable, creating a tapestry of understanding that enriches us all. If you found this exploration enriching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Your support enables us to continue this journey together, unraveling the mysteries of faith and deepening our understanding of God's Word. Once again, thank you for your time and your presence. May you walk away from this exploration with a heart ablaze with faith, a mind enlightened by wisdom, and a spirit empowered by love. Until we meet again, may God's grace accompany you every step of the way. Thank you for joining us on The Word of Life.